Hey guys, it's Sutonia here. I want to talk a bit about a free-to-play account that I've been using to PvP with. I think I was very successful. I was flying a Alpha Clone Kestrel. Uh, as you can see here, I think I was incredibly successful with what I was able to kill. I killed, I think, five Tech 2 frigates. I killed two destroyers that were flown by Amiga accounts. I also killed a Hakati, which was a... Uh, incredible feat in my opinion as well as a uh, public fleet fire tail and almost every figure that I killed here was flown by uh, a meager account so alpha accounts are very powerful and they definitely can win against the meager accounts even with the limited skill set that they had uh, I was flying the Kestrel of course, the Kestrel in my opinion is one of the best frigates in the game for Norsic roaming it's definitely probably the strongest one in my opinion definitely tier 1, some people might argue that the Tristan or the Breacher might be better, but the Kestrel is absolutely my favorite. So let's talk about a bit about skill points. This character has 1.7 million of them, uh, so it's not even a maxed alpha. Although I think for the Kestrel that I'm flying in particular, almost everything is maxed. Uh, it's a bit about the Kestrel fit. I don't want to speak speak too much about the Kestrel fit because I've covered Kestrel fits a lot on this channel. And it's kind of a meme and I get made fun of whenever I make a one hour long casual video. So I'll just talk about the fit quickly. Uh, in the high it's got Arbalist rocket launchers. Arbalist are the best named rocket launchers. Uh, the CCB hasn't tier-sided weapons yet. So there's four different types of rocket launchers. I recommend you get the Arbalist ones. You definitely want as much DPS as possible on this fit. The, cast the main thing that the Kestrel's got going for it over every other figure is the fact that it does insane DPS and it has insane range. It's kind of like an, uh, like an archer in other MMOs. It does a lot of damage to a lot of range, although it's kind of weaker up, up close. That's kind of what the Kestrel is. Although it's not that weak because it still has a medium shield extender. So, Tech 2 Medium Shield Extender, just for enough the HP to survive residue damage in scram range. Uh, compact Micro Warp Drive. Fleeting Compact Stasis Webifier. Faint Epsom Scoped Warp Scrambler. These are pr pretty standard mids for the Kestrel. Micro Warp Drive, Best Named Web. Uh, the Scoped Scram. I think the Scoped Scram is very important on the Kestrel because you have uh, an optimal range bonus on your rockets i think they, they travel about 10.2 kilometers although we'll speak a bit about flight time i don't want to cover it too much i don't want to go too too mechanical in depth in this video tech 2 tech 2 ballistic control units uh the kestrel fit that i was actually using for the live stream highlights that i put on the end was slightly different i was using best named bcus instead of tech 2 and instead of the cpu rig i had a uh, core defense field extender but the problem is when i bought these kestrels it was like one month before the patch uh, and a lot of people have done market speculation on the best name, the Crosslink BCUs. So now the 4 million is, is uh, 4 million isk each in Jitter, instead of 800k of the Tech 2 Ballistic Control Unit. So I definitely think it's worth dropping a core defense field extender for a uh, small processor overclocking unit. Uh, you gain, I think, like 5% more DPS, but you lose uh, 4k EHP. A bit more than that actually which is about 10 to 10 to 12 percent ehp which is definitely like a, a bad trade but it's not worth spending 7 million isk on on the name bcus for so this kestrel would be slightly less powerful than the one i flew but it's only like four percent less powerful so don't worry about it too much again it does feel kind of bad having two uh fitting rigs on any ship i definitely think this kestrel fit worked out very well so the the strategy of this Kestrel fit, of course, is it's a scram kiter. You want to fight at 8 kilometers or further most of the time in this scram range and hold them down while you do max DPS. Almost no other ship in the game is going to out... Or any frigate, I should say, Tech 1 frigate, especially flown by an alpha account, is going to out-damage you at this range. So you have a, hu you have a huge DPS advantage. In fact, even uh, like an alpha blaster Merlin actually only does like 25% more DPS than you, and that's at one kilometer. So you do an insane amount of DPS for the range that you're fighting at, which is the main stick of the Kestrel. It is, uh, the weakness of the Kestrel is it's the slowest figure in the game, uh, at least before skip, before modules, sometimes Punisher and Tormentor can be slow if someone fits a big plate to them, but the Kestrel is the slowest one of those. And w w on the Alpha account, it goes uh, 2.5 kilometers a second, almost which is kind of slow it's slower than a lot of interdictors actually which is kind of bad but i didn't find it that horrible like if you jump into a camp you're gonna die in this kestrel or an amiga kestrel or you know a rifter it doesn't really matter if someone's prepared a camp for you to that degree then 
you're always going to die regardless of your speed. I didn't find the speed that awful, to be honest. I did find I did notice that the agility on the uh, alpha accounts was quite bad, though. One of the problems with the Kestrel is that the fact that it's got a 4.03 second uh, align time. And how align time works in this game is that the game always checks to see if you're fully aligned at the end of each tick so even though this says 4.03 seconds it actually takes a casual five seconds to warp out and it's incredibly noticeable especially if you're flying used to flying like an amiga account kestrel because the the difference between between taking a second longer to warp it feels so like it feels so long uh and another problem with the kestrel like i mentioned is the flight time mechanics again i don't really want to go too, too in depth in this but basically on an alpha account uh, they will travel for 2.8 seconds. It says 2 seconds here, but I don't think this is actually applying my skills to this. I'm not, I'm not actually, I haven't actually used this uh, fitting simulator. I'm not sure if there's any way for me to apl apply my skills to it. Okay, well, they're not showing very well in the simulated mode. In fact, I can probably exit simulation here. And maybe they will... Uh, if I load load some rockets up, it'll, it'll show you. But yeah, two two point eight seconds with max kills. The way the game handles uh, uh, flight time for rockets is that they can only ever have a for any missile in the game is that they can only ever have a flat second uh, flight time. They either travel with two seconds or three seconds. They always hit at the end of a server tick as well, which is sometimes why you might see like on damage logs where you like have two missiles hit at the same time exactly. So whenever you fire one of these missiles, it's going to travel uh, two seconds, twenty percent of the time, and three seconds, eighty percent of the time. Whenever there's a a flight time on a on a missile or a rocket that's not a flat second, it takes the remainder as a percentage of traveling to the the furthest one. So this is an eight a two second flight time with an eighty percent chance to go three seconds. It's really important to keep that in mind because on an alpha account. The rockets are only going to travel uh, 3.7 multiplied by 2, 20% of the time. So effectively, if you're fighting further than 7.5 kilometers, you're losing 20% of your DPS on average. It's very important to keep that in mind, especially when you're fighting against kiting ships. In fact, there's some matchups where you might want to try and stay at 7 kilometers instead, just to make sure you guarantee all of your DPS. But anyway, that's the fit. Uh, it's changed slightly because, again... Uh, as I mentioned, I would be running a uh, Copressor rig and two uh, Tech 2 BCUs instead of these cross things because they've increased in price uh, by a huge amount uh, recently because of market spe speculation. As for skills, 1.7 mil skill points doesn't actually take that long to, uh, to train up. I think on an Alpha clone, training this many skill points takes about 40 to 50 days. Although that's not including... Uh, the free uh, 80k SP you get from the mini injector, assuming that maybe you used it to get to, to get the Kadari figure level 4. And also, if you use a Buddy Link Invi, you can get 250k free SP as well, which will also improve. It will also take about 10 days off of that. The, the main important skills here mostly are just, uh, you know, missile bomb. Basically, just everything related to missiles on an Alpha account can use get it to get it to max on Alpha. Get called Dari Frigate 5. Engineering skills don't matter that much. I think you actually start with almost everything that you want except for weapon upgrades to level 4 and thermodynamics level 3. You don't need advanced weapon upgrades on this account because there's plenty of grid left over on the Kestrel. So, so that's the skills really. I, I, again, I don't want to go too too in depth with this. Anyway, I, I found that the Kestrel was super good. So check out the highlights. I guess I'll cover cover a few of these kills so far. So this was a, an Omega Catalyst. I was really proud of this kill. He was flying a, a very strong fit, in my opinion. I was really lucky he didn't have Null. But this is an Omega account and a character on a max skill. Skilled character. And this just shows how powerful uh, Scram Kiting is, even on an Alpha character. I also killed Hikati. That's the same same story, really. He actually had no, although he didn't use uh, sharpshooter mode that effectively. Although the guy was uh, really cool. He actually killed me before, but mostly because I made a really bad mistake and and uh, got caught off a gate. I killed Manticore, Crows, Aries. These interceptors generally they're very weak and they think they can bully you because you're a Tech One frigate. 
on an alpha character and they're in a tech 2 figure but they're generally like normally really bad tacklers <laughs> i mean these ones in particular weren't the best fit uh, i think i killed a few cargo expanded heiresses here which were you know kind of meme fits i guess all these uh, Tristans that I killed too were all piloted by Omega accounts. Uh, this guy has two hobgoblins in his uh, drone bay, but he had in pure navy uh, acolytes. So he's using, he might actually be an alpha ac account. But this guy was in a full tech two fit. Uh, Tristan, pretty decent fit, I guess. Maybe run the celery instead of the two hundred millimeter plate, but I still would have won anyway. Had tech two drones. I think it's the same for this other Tristan down here. This guy was also on, a, on Omega account, had Tech 2 drones. But uh, he didn't have a small ancillary. I don't think that would have changed me winning though. I did die to him before though, when I had Mjolnir loaded. But anyway, check out the highlights. I just wanted to make this kind of video just to show you that Alpha accounts can PvP. And they can certainly hit w way above their weight if you know what you're doing. And, and check out my Kestrel guides and stuff. I'll see if I can adapt them more towards Alpha accounts. Catalyst. <coughs> I can kill that maybe. It'll be a hard fight. If he's blasters. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I think he's blasters. Okay, so we're going to kite this guy at like 10k, I guess. Okay, now we're going to go back in a bit. Make sure we keep this. Problem with like really shitty agility. Fuck. Don't want to drop scram on this guy. He, he might be aggro, I don't know. Oh no, he's aggroed again. I guess he loaded null. So I'm kind of getting wrecked now. A lot more than I was. Should I play more defensively? His whole tank that sucks. Uh, let's go like eight, seven hundred, I guess. Let's be a bit more defensive here. I kind of need to maybe risk burning out the web, but I guess that's fine. If I lose the web, it doesn't really matter too much. Like he'll be, he won't, he can't still can't approach me. I still have a control advantage. Ah, uh, yeah. Come on, man. If I kill like a, a veteran in a catalyst, I'm gonna be so fucking happy. I only have five missiles as well. It kind of sucks if I don't kill him before reloading. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could always leave, I guess, but. Dude, I take two guns. I thought he reloaded to null, but he didn't. Areas. If the other stuff jumps, I'll engage the areas. Like maybe he just rams me. Kaku's incoming now. Okay, maybe we'll kill the Aris, I don't know. He's armor tank though. It's bad for me, I assumed he was gonna be shield. Oh he has neutrons actually, let's pull up let's pull back a bit. Oh nice. I didn't think he would die that fast. Hopefully the slasher doesn't point me. Oh that was good. 
want to buy Twitch since going safety green. That's because it's a new character that I haven't flown. Hey, it doesn't matter anyway, no sec. I thought I was going to die there because the, ca the caracal was hitting me. Oh. <laughs> he has a, a expanded cargo hold for a tank. <laughs> He's on a tank. I don't think I can kill the Akati. I'm pretty sure he has, like, I think he's true. No, he has. He has Scram and Web, definitely. I guess he could be dual prop with Scram and Web. I don't think I can kill him if he's dual prop. Like, there's almost no way. I guess we'll try it for the memes. I'm pretty sure I can't win, though. Probably faster, me too. Maybe he'll like take some damage burning into me, which will be pretty good for me. So I assume he's dual prop with scram web. I'm not sure like how tanky this guy's gonna be, I guess. I guess he's whole tanked. I guess he could have an injector too, I don't know. We seem kind of stable here though. Alright, I don't need to hit the web now, just save some heat. Boys, is this actually happening? And he sh I guess he reloaded to null. Let's be a bit more pussy. I think we need to like, go 10k to avoid null damage. He's still in defensive mode though, which is good for me. Uh, I don't think he's... It's going to be close. Like, I'm not sure if my last missiles will kill him. He's also gaining on me now, kind of. Okay, let's not heat. Fuck me, dude. If I have to reload, I'm gonna be like mega mad. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Holy shit, boys. Hakati down to uh, Alpha Kestrel. Whew. So, so mad about the reloads, he's gaining range. I mean, the structure HP actually got buffed in this patch. I think he would have wrecked me if he went into sharpshooter mode and just shot me with no. Oh, I've got some exotic dancers. Hakati kill. Easy breezy. Oh, dude. I definitely. Oh, I'm landing on a Tristan actually. Let's just assume that he's in. Okay, so he has rail guns, so I'm not going to mitigate anything from him. I might as well just try and orbit closely. Hope I can kill him before I get blobbed by the Saber and the Stratios. I think I've got the wrong damage loaded for this though. And he has Acolyte twos. If I had Nova, maybe. I don't want to burn out my medium shield extender. But it's, it's going to be so close, man. If I didn't have fucking Mjolnir loaded. Fuck me. Yeah, I think I've lost this, but if I had Nova, I think I would have won. I guess I engaged him too spontaneously. I can't really afford to uh, not have the right ammo in an Alpha clone. 
sabers on scan now. Oh, I guess I can't fight then. He's probably coming here. I mean, if it's just a crow, maybe I should YOLO him. You know, like maybe he'll fuck up and just approach me or something. Okay, he's aggroing me. He's in some weird incendiary fit. Oh fuck, the saber's like in the wrong direction. I guess I die if he gets burned out. Actually the Keras will probably permit tackle me. Fuck, I could have warped then for like a small while. I might break the Keras point. <sighs> Burn out the MSC. Hopefully those guys are cocked though because of the uh, Sabre bubble. I might be able to escape. And rep in PDAC Z. Classic untanked crow. I think he had an auxiliary because he's sure... No, never mind. <laughs> it was... <laughs> oh man, that pit. Man, th those missile rigs sure go well with those uh, non-existent missile launchers. I I haven't really PvP'd here much to tell a diff to tell a difference. I definitely think this guy these guys are much more aggressive to this character, but Actually, I don't want to get kited here. Fuck me, dude! I'm losing DPS right now. I want to ram this guy because he has rail guns anyway. So it, it makes no odds to me, basically. And I don't think the NOS is relevant enough. Like, obviously, if I brawl, he gets the, gets the suck from me. But I, I don't think it really matters. I'd rather guarantee that my missiles hit. But yeah, this guy has Tech 2 Acolyte. So he is uh, this guy is a, an Omega account and he has drones level 5. So definitely not just like random pleb. Alright, this time we won because I had no overloaded. Ooh, retrieve and venture. Take up passive masturbation. <laughs> What is passive masturbation? The fuck? Right, so this guy has mining drones out, which is good for me. Guess I should reload uh, EM missiles, right? So is this going to take long time to kill? Hopefully he's untanked. 261 he's untanked, I think. Yeah, my max damage is 261. 261 HP EM damage. So this guy has no tank. No damage control. He called in his mining drones. He might p be picking out combat drones. Not sure how well I can deal with those. How much armor does a retriever have? Hopefully it's not bad, because I know they have base 60%. Uh, yeah. It's not that bad compared to shields, though, I guess. Alright, let's do this. There's an Algus on 5 AU, that's it. I think the Algus might be able to force me. I'm doing 5% per shot. Uh, I think the Algus is just busy doing something else, though. There's plus one in local. So he, this guy might be getting help. The only thing is, I hope I can kill this guy with like my missiles, if you know what I mean. Like if I have to reload, then it'll be really sketchy. So I'm gonna heat for a bit. 
just because I want to make sure I kill this guy. I think we got this guy. Plus one in local again, plus two in local. That works. There wasn't that guy from the other. I guess these guys are all blue to each other. Oh, there's a guy here. I think those guys are the guys from before, right? The. Oh, fuck, I need to reload. I can maybe kill this guy. There is a caracal coming in, though. I assume the caracal's with the manticore. Can maybe kill this guy. We want to make sure we keep our speed up against this guy. Caracal's incoming. Uh, I think we're going to YOLO this guy. If I die to the caracal, it's worth the manticore. That's a line out. Hopefully the caracal does not have a point. He does not. Good fight. Killed a tree with two missiles left where the uh, procurers are. I can kill the Ares probably too anyway. Like the procurers only have a 37 kilometer lock range with max skills. I mean even assuming they're in fleet, which they probably are. The fuck dude, why is this guy only going 2.2? Is this some really weird meme fit? Like look at his speed dude. It's, it's nothing. I guess he could be running like oversized prop or something. I, I, I really don't know. I assume it is a meme fit of some kind. He has rail guns. So I guess we'll ram him. Oh, Eris down. Another tech 2 frigate killed by an alpha. Save it landing. Oh, fuck. Should have locked him sooner to control. I got a defensive web on him, so I think I'm good. <laughs> Pistredis, Tristan. Oh, what's this prop mod? Against all the 40s, it's like a mining alliance now or something. I, I, I don't get it. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Like I saw the mining. Okay, is he dual prop then? I think if he's dual prop then I lose like automatically. No, he has a web. Okay, so he's armor then. Guess I chose wrong with the thermal missiles. Guess it's not too bad though. Oh, he has a, a new. Uh, oh shit. I'm way too close to him right now. I should have been further away. He's lost his web though. I might be able to pull some range here. I lost Scram though. I'm ramming him though. We got him against all authorities, man. Oh, shit. I hope he has a nice pod, too. He had a pod, nice. Oh, just... let's, let's go thermal because most Tristans are going to be uh, shield tanked, I guess. I mean, if he's all like I don't know, I I, I, send, I see a lot less armor ones and like shield ones, but oh shit! If you're sad, my name. Yeah, dude, this is like a nice name. That's why people don't know it's me, because all my couple alts are named like XXX Chaos Dragon XXX. Or like Jar Jar Binks Rules 2005, which is like names that are like meant to look like so childish and retarded. You know what I mean? Let's 
he? Well, he's an armor Tristan. New Tristan. Okay, let's pull range so he doesn't new off my shit. And he has neutrons too. Okay, so we're at a, a bit of an advantage here, I guess. If we stay at range, we can avoid his newts. Let's stop overheating that, that uh, web. I want to heat the scram though for now. Just so I can stay outside new range. Kind of comfortably. It's still going to be hard to kill Tristan though. He is armor, so I did make a small mistake by having thermal, but it's hard to tell Tristan's before. He is a alpha clone too because he has uh, hobgoblin twos. At this range though, his blasters aren't hitting me, so even though that I'm an alpha clone versus premium, I think I have an advantage here. That was a nice. Oh shit. I need to put the in like before he dies. Oh. Oh, he had an afterburner too. Oh, he should have had range control on me. I'm surprised. Well, I guess yeah, I don't know. I guess he has he has two try marks, so he was a lot slower than me. Despite the afterburner, and I guess the plate does slow him down a bit too. I thought it was a new Tristan. I, I guess he did. Oh, I did notice the blasters. Okay. <coughs> Why did I get the impression that like all Stratus pilots are like douchebags? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, not aside from Stan. Oh, I mean, I guess stunt is kind of is a douchebag, but you know what I mean. Like, they're always, like, douchebags, you know? It's like the Orphus as well. No tank slasher. Maybe it's the NC video. Be an NC dot. De decloak my Stratios before it's. Oh fuck, dude! I could have probably gone on the on the crow. Decloak my Stratios before the tackle is even on grid. Don't approach an MWD him so he gets out of my web range. Do I go on this with thermal? I mean, I guess if he engages me, maybe he will. Okay, he did. Nice. We want to heat, heat the fuck out of this. Does he have no tank? The thing that sucks is that Crow gets a bonus ten percent to thermal, but I mean this guy's untanked, so unless he's arm like some armor meme fit. Okay. Cap recharger two. Travel fit. Another slash on the scan. On one of these gates, I'm going to assume S9X. I really need to visit one of the Astro Houses though to get my uh... I guess I can just dock in the station to, to repair heat damage. Okay, he's here. He's actually dying to the rats. Okay, let's go to the station. I assume there's like an AIDS gate camp on the other side because it's Providence. Am I is positive? Yeah. Pretty sure, man. 
I've only, I think I've only, I've lost like, have I lost five or four? I, I can't remember. Let's see, interactions, losses. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I lost five Kestrels. But I killed a crow. I killed t two Tech 2 cr Tristans that are piloted by Alpha clones. I mean, by premium accounts, Amiga accounts. Killed an eight against all the Frontiers Vitale. Killed an Akati. Killed like another crow. Killed a Retriever. Killed a crow. Killed a Manticore. Killed two Eresses. Killed a Catalyst. So yeah, I think we're definitely as positive, man. At 7.5 mil per Castrol. I think I've lost 37.5 uh, mil, but I've like easily killed like over 200 mil. Probably more than that, to be honest. Comoran. Just had a good fight with the breacher. Oh, nice. It's an afterburner only fit too. <coughs> I'm surprised you won. With rage, if he was AB only trap fit. I guess he was bad somehow. Maybe he rammed you and didn't keep up the reversal or something. Because normally it's like you're fucked if it's AB only. Let's just like move about a bit just to you know, cock these guys a little by moving around so it's like harder for them to respond. So I think they still have a slasher that I can kill. I, I don't think there's any chance of me killing the Comet but I guess I'll try 1v1 with him. There was a slicer too that I think I can make I win if he lands on me as zero but even then it's like 50-50 I think. Healer and Crow. Well, the Crow's on S9X. He might attack me. Oh, Jesus. Why did he walk to this gate? Let's reload Mjolnir as well. It's gonna be better. <coughs> Since the Crow has 55% armor, I think. Okay, let's do like some elite tactics here. Actually, the healer's warping here. So I'm gonna walk to the station instead. Wait, did something die here? I don't think this was... No, never mind. That's the crow that I killed, right? Crow might be following. Okay, I don't need this elite, elite tactics anymore. I think this guy aggressed me, right? I'm not sure. Okay, he's aggressed.
I'm not sure why he why he has a scrambling web with like missiles, but you know, I'll go with it, I'll go with it. This is a genocide, man. Kid is here to save him, but I should be able to kill the pod and moonwalk out of this. Why is this pod taking so long to die? He had implants, nice. Hardly four mil. Rest in peace, though. Hey, let's go to the sun quickly, I guess. Crows. <laughs> Was this the same dude, actually? No, it's not. They love Capra Chargers for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe the slasher will follow me to the sun. Yeah, the slasher's coming here. Okay. Hopefully we can kill him before like this Stratios and other shit comes. He came in at range. Ideally we actually want to kite this guy at range. But I mean, it doesn't really matter either way. <laughs> I mean, he's already dead, so... <laughs> Comment on scan now. Not sure if I can kill this. I guess if we ram, no, never mind. He landed way too far away. I'm gonna get wrecked by rails. Like if he landed on top of me, I'd like go for it. <laughs> Should look up your character, Madam Micah. Is this the new saver? This character? He used to be in Providence. Oh, Cormoran followed me. To zero! Okay, boys, if we if there's one chance we have a killing a Cormoran, it's now. I still don't, I'm still not confident in it, though, because... Because of the tracking bonus that it gets. And the fact that my SIG is like 52 meters or something. We're going to do some elite MLG tactics here. We're going to offline this once we're in armor. To lower the SIG penalty. Okay, now we offline this. So then that takes my SIG... Sig down from 52 to uh, 45, which helps out a bit. Nice. I wasn't expecting to get that. Oh, dude, that explosion is sick. Oh, he had implants too. MLG. <laughs> Calculated so I didn't lose armor. <laughs> oh, I did lose some armor. But I mean, reducing my stick from 52 to like, what is it, like 45 is actually a pretty big deal. It's like a 15% sick reduction. It's like mid-grade Halos. Banned for abusing game mechanics. Offlining your shield extender once you're out of shields is not abuse of game mechanics, man. It's like good tactics. Rockets are going to get nerfed. Why are, are people whooping onto me to die? Well, for the for they're in much stronger ships than my ship. So this, this guy's in a Comoran, which is a destroyer. Normally his ship absolutely wrecks, like, frigates. Docking 
so so he probably just walked to the customs office like you know haphazardly thinking he's just gonna wreck me now after ducking and probably station a rep yeah dude it feels good you know what the best thing is when when i ever since the, when i was on Suetonia, even when i was pirating for in providence for years i could still dock in all the self stations and rep in them <laughs> they never banned me from the stations In fact, like, even if you're on, like, a main who's KOS, if you go to Structure Browser and look in, like, region, you can normally find, like, one system that you can dock in still. Maybe this guy's... Oh, fuck, dude. I just realized a huge problem that that I have, and that is an offline shield extender. So I think I might want to fix that. <laughs> and the car this undock, so, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't... Engage the Tristan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone says I'm a PvP god, then I forget to online my short extender. Yeah, that's pretty much the, the gist of it. Alright, let's go to X4. Maybe this Tristan will follow me if he wants to fight. <laughs> I make mistakes on purpose so people will still fight me. No, I mostly just make really dumb mistakes all the time. Inquisitor, that's interesting. Uh, let's go to Inferno for this dude. <coughs> Mar have Mar have 20% explosive, 25% thermal, so... I mean, kinetic. Maybe I should have gone kinetic instead. Oh shit, the catalyst is here. Fuck! I, I think I can kill a catalyst if he's by himself. If he has backup from the Tristan, no, I don't think I can win. Because I assume he's just going to be like in some blaster meme fit. With no control. But he's on the other side of that gate now, so I don't know. Maybe the Tristan will aggro me at zero. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's got a scram, so he's going to have some kind of... Uh, has neutrons, that's bad for me. I think I'm going to get wrecked because of it. I thought he would be in a kiting one, but eh, I'm gonna get wrecked now. I think he has void loaded because he is missing me. If I had Nova, maybe I could have won, despite the really bad engagement range. There's like a Logi on grid now too. Yeah, he got Logi reps. Should have gone for the drones. No, you can't kill Tristan, Tristan drones in time. They have a 50% HP bonus. And like, he's sitting on top of me with, with uh, like, blasters, like, you know, why put the mod offline? Because he was missing me with his blasters and reducing my signature radius for 50, 15% for free is good. <laughs> 